Hey everybody, it's Kyle from Those Guys. Uh, today I'm going to check out this cool indie game called Thomas Was Alone. It's recommended to me by Chris. Um, I have no idea what to expect, but I think it's a puzzle game, so I guess I'll go ahead and try and dive in. I did give this a quick test and uh, played the first level, which was nothing. So I kind of know how to play. So the program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coder started adding names, strings to the AIs as a joke. Oh, okay. Thomas was alone. What a weird first thought to have. Thomas was alone. Yes. Okay, so I'm pressing the uh, WASD keys. Alright. So that was the first level. Okay, escalated quickly. Is there fall damage? Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. I love games with narr narrative. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. Hmm. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. I'm pretty good at falling too. Alright. Okay. Spaces to jump or W. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to what's the word? Jump. Hmm. What a strange concept. Worked. Thomas had. Ah, oh, skip that narrative. Oh well. A big jump, but Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Okay. Oh. How do I get over this big jump? Oh, there we go. Level five. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Oh God, that's what he meant. He was starting to suspect huh? it might even be doing so on purpose. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might, or might not, be important. This one... It might have been a lot of jumping puzzles. But Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. Almost like he's in a video game. Designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Not too obvious. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't What's like this. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Pass the response point to save a character's he progress. Made another mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. Thomas doesn't like to swim. Why is he a cube named Thomas? Seems a little odd. I feel like there's gonna be some weird twist at the end. It'd be great if I just screwed up right here. It's last jump. Thomas 
Zeus had a new theory. The world was training him. Training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He What's was this? Evolving. He just wished he had oh. someone to share it with. He needs a friend. Everyone needs a friend. Oh, oh, this this is kind of dizzying, actually. Whoa. Are we falling? Like, oh. Oh, okay. Oh. No. God dang it. I just want to get up here. There. How long is this gonna last? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna add a new element. I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told that idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts. More than one AI was found to be spawned into an environment at some point. Turns out I missed the point. The little error changed everything. Oh. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Christopher. Okay. Cues to scroll. Oh, you have to. Oh. Probably have to jump on him. Okay. Cues to switch or E. There we go. Ooh, that's far away. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he Ooh. held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to go. Uh, not actually, not technically graceful. Probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. God, Thomas is just such a jerk sometimes. How the hell do I get over this? Oh. Oh, that looks dangerous. Oh, trying to push me, I see. Oh, God, just smacked me down. <laughs> hey, Christopher. I'm here to help. I gotta get this square down here. Go back up to Thomas. Oh, Thomas isn't alone anymore. So it's, you know, Thomas is not alone. There seems to be a button. Okay. This was more like it. The glowy white. Thing. Well, only Chris uh, could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? Oh, this is... What new opportunity might this switch open up to? Him? Well, this is gonna get annoying. This for each jump. Great. It's obnoxious. Well, the chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate! Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Chris seems very jealous. Hear that, Chris? Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Ah! Chris couldn't shake the feeling ah. that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. <laughs> well, this narrator. I probably, probably need Thomas for this. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. I almost fell off.
But I'll probably reach a point where I just can't figure out what to do, so I just end the video really awkwardly. Pure hatred. He seems so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Fellowship of quadrilaterals, I love that. Fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would spin up. Oh god. That would be a mistake. Hold up, guys. Hear a satisfied little Alright. From the vaulting idiot. I'm back, sorry about that guys. He hoped meant to sign out of Skype. would split them up. If only for a few levels. Seems like a good twist to me. Oh, okay. That was gonna fall. Look at that. Oh, oh that's gonna Okay, that was close. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna get this. Don't tell me you need Thomas. You need Thomas, don't you? God dang it. Oh no, you do. You don't. Don't worry, guys. Got all under control. Knew what I was doing there. What? Jumping. I'm not good at jumping puzzles, guys. 